Hey guys, welcome to another news breakdown here on Soto Pop. Soto! All right, we're back. I'm your host, Frozen Stratos, and today we're going to be taking a look at the actual Zero One blog that has Zero One toys in it. An insane concept, I know. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Zero One blog is back, and we also have some other stuff that we're going to be taking care of here as well. Uh, but yeah, first up, let's just dive right into what we've got for Zero One. And we're back, coming in swinging with my absolute favorite thing in the world, Army Builders. Uh, we are getting our first looks at the Trilobite, well, not technically our first looks at the Trilobite and Magir, but, um, yeah, our actual nice looks at them. These were leaked, uh, I believe two weeks ago from a magazine picture. I don't know if it was a leak, but, um, yeah, we finally get these in full display here, uh, and the first thing they wanted to note about these guys is that they are all in one box. Um, so basically... Uh, this is what Soto calls the impossible, um, I don't know, there's something about this that is, uh, harder for them to manufacture, uh, that means like a full body in one box, they haven't done that in two years and two months, the last time they did it was the release of, um, Bloodstark, the, I believe the second, uh, the first to second, uh, release of Bloodstark, um, and that had just a full figure in one box. Uh, and they're coming back and doing it again here, so I definitely appreciate it. Um, and it, it's just another thing of Soto showing that it, it is pushing their budget to the absolute limit. Um, another thing they wanted to note that even though the last time they did an all-in-one sort of item, uh, they did not have wrist rotation, he will indeed have wrist swaps and a separate open hand, so there are two sets of hands in here. Um, and if you look at the figure at all, there's a decent amount of stickers, but you know what? Again, they're pushing their budget to the limit, so I absolutely love the look of this. Um, let's take a look at this. Uh, so this is actually the, um, the survey. If you haven't filled it out, go ahead and do so. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, that's what this is. Uh, they said that a lot of people were requesting this thing in the surveys and that they use the surveys to pretty much tell what figures we want and what accessories we want them to come with. Uh, so this plays a big role in what we get, so if you're not convinced yet, um, come on, just fill out the surveys, there's a little QR code on the box, uh, it's not that hard. Um, next up we have the sort of sort of breakdown not full breakdown but breakdown of like this little chunk here um so there's not enough room in that box or at least not enough budget uh to put the stand in there or the weapons so there's actually going to be an accessory set he's sharing an accessory set um with trash bag laws and subsequently that sort of gives us a full-on trash bag laws sans trash bag um for our sixth box so that's pretty neat um it, i was always curious about this thing and malunas was speculating this as well that like this thing might end up being like trash bag laws might end up being three boxes but they were able to squeeze it into two uh and one of the boxes just has the whole figure in it so once again uh this is amazing stuff uh pushing their budget to the limit i'm sure um and yeah i i can't i can't you know uh, say enough praise about this stuff. Um, also, on top of that, we got a teaser image for what's coming up next week. Oh, wait. Oh, before that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, usually uh, in the blog, uh, or not just the blog, but, you know, in their day-to-day, -day, um, they switch people who, like, they typically have switched people every year uh, who's going to be in charge of Soto, but G-Man is remaining in 2020. Uh, he just wanted to let us know. And D-Man is going to um, stay as the head of uh, um, Soto Chronicle. So we've got, you know, the regular team here uh, for this upcoming year, and I'm, I'm happy with it. I love these guys, uh, and I'm glad that they are just staying in place it's a good time uh but yeah like i said we got a tease of what's to come next week 
Well, like, more than a tease, because, like, we got the full image of, uh, zero, zero, 001. There was another image, uh, with his, uh, sword in it, and it looks like the regular release of the sword, and does not have, like, an extra attachment to it. It is just regular attach caliber. Um, but yeah, and we get to see just the, the mold on display. It looks like the forearms, obviously, they were gonna have to change from the Night Rogue release, um, since it does look like it has the arm swap. So, um, it's neat to see, like, bits of that mold or maybe even that 3D model, uh, come into play here. Um, but yeah, that's it for the blog post this week. Um, I'm not quite sure what this next image is, though. Oh, it's the full review! Yeah, yeah, And so, we, <laughs> sorry. This is the full layout. Um, they just wanted to give us the whole thing, and I'm very appreciative. Uh, I always love these images. They're some of my favorites. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the Soto News blog. But there is another blog post that I did want to mention since it is Candy Toy, and it is pretty much Soto. No, Shoto. It's pretty much Shoto, uh, so I'm including it. This totally counts. Uh, let's talk about Shokugan base. Uh, now this thing actually came out recently, last week um, was its release date, uh, and they just wanted to give us a full-on blog post about it, and it is one of the most endearing things that I've ever seen. So, uh, first up, uh, we've got a new writer here, everyone say hello to P. Uh, they are going to be the one uh, sort of helping us through this Shokugan base post, and the first thing they wanted to talk about was that Hey, we know that certain candy toys do have um, uh, display-based solutions, but not all of them do, namely Shoto and even Gundam G-Frame. So what they basically wanted to do... Oh, and on top of that, like any other sort of uh, stand solution you get is way overkill for a $5 candy toy. So what they wanted to do is make a candy toy base for candy toys. And that's specifically what this is. And I very much appreciate it. Like, they saw an issue and decided to fix it. Uh, so the first thing they wanted to talk about here, uh, about the actual base itself, um, like, is basically the contents. Uh, so we'll go through this, like, piece by piece. Uh, the first thing, the actual base itself, has a Bandai Shokugan logo. And I don't know what about this got me, but it got me. Like, that that logo made me want to buy this item. Don't, I, I cannot tell you why, because I myself do not know, but like this, this logo sold me. Um, on top of that, uh, we have the three little, um, sort of display backgrounds, and you'll be getting like a city look, a uh, techno pattern, and a sort of rock quarry look. Uh, the rock quarry look is meant to sort of display with your um, your toku stuff and then the techno and the building stuff. I guess that could used be used interchangeably with Gundam and Shoto. Um, on top of that, we have the peg here. Oh, uh, something else about this, actually, uh, before we move on, is that these are made out of ABS... Um, and, you know, all of these are going to be cast in clear plastic, so uh, if you do want to end up painting these, uh, beware of lacquer paints because it might damage the plastic. Anyway, moving on, uh, we have this peg. It's actually slightly ribbed so that it'll have those sort of locking points, those faux locking points, so do be careful uh, when moving those. Um, on top of that, uh, this is a 3 mil peg, so it's able to clip into the back of the belt of Kamen Riders and the butthole of the G-Frame figures. So that's really neat. Um, and also, if that doesn't suit your fancy or you need to do some other difficult posing, uh, this sprue houses the sort of little clamps, so you can put them around... Uh, just pinch them around your figure. So that's nice. Um, and overall, that's it. Um, a thing I wanted to note, and the blog... Actually, yeah, I guess the blog detailed this out. These are coming 18 per box. And the last time I checked on Ami um, the box is like... I want to say around $50, so that's like 18... Um, 
uh, that's that's 18 you know bases for 50 bucks like that's a that's an insane price uh, and they want you to buy tons of these and they are making these super readily available so definitely definitely go ahead and support these but yeah guys that's it uh for the candy toy blogs this week uh, i can't wait for next week i genuinely did not know that we were getting one next week so i'm i'm very much looking forward to it uh so yeah guys thanks for watching if you like this episode hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week we got another episode of the soda pop podcast coming out soon uh and then next week join us here again for another news breakdown guys thanks for watching keep it juicy